What if your favorite animal no longer existed? This nightmare scenario is a reality for many species due to the relentless threat of poaching. As we take a sobering look at the scale of the global poaching crisis, it's essential to understand the breadth and depth of this issue. It's not isolated to one country, one continent, or even one type of animal. It's a worldwide crisis that affects a vast array of species, from elephants and rhinos to tigers and marine life. When we mention the word poaching, it often conjures images of ivory tusks or rhino horns. But it's much more than that. Poaching takes on various forms. There's wildlife poaching, where animals are hunted illegally for their hides, meat, or body parts. There's also marine life poaching, which involves the illegal capture of marine species like turtles, fish, and coral. The impact is staggering. Thousands of animals are killed each year, pushing many species to the brink of extinction. Elephants, rhinos, tigers, these are just a few of the many species that are critically endangered due to poaching. But it's not just about the animals. Poaching disrupts ecosystems, threatening biodiversity and the balance of life on our planet. And then, there's the human factor. Behind every poached animal, there's a perpetrator. People driven by various factors, from poverty and desperation, to greed, and the lure of the black market. Understanding these motivations is key to addressing the issue. But let's not forget, this crisis doesn't only affect the animals. It's a battle for survival for us too. The loss of biodiversity threatens our food security, our climate, and even our health. Poaching is not just an animal rights issue, it's a human rights issue, it's an environmental issue, it's a global issue. As we dive deeper into this issue, we will realize why it is a battle of survival, not only for the animals, but also for us. This is a battle we can't afford to lose. Our future, and the future of our planet, depends on it. Poaching is not a random act. It's a highly organized, lucrative criminal activity that targets some of the world's most iconic species. It's an insidious enterprise that takes on many forms, each with its unique set of challenges. Let's start with wildlife poaching. This involves the illegal hunting, capturing and often killing of wild animals. From elephants for their ivory to tigers for their skins, this type of poaching is driven by a ruthless demand for wildlife parts and products. Then there's marine life poaching. This takes place in our oceans where overfishing and illegal fishing practices threaten the balance of marine ecosystems. Sharks are hunted for their fins, while sea turtles are killed for their shells and eggs. Ivory poaching specifically targets elephants for their tusks, which are carved into intricate works of art or jewelry. Despite international bans, the black market for ivory is thriving, leading to an alarming rate of elephant deaths. Each similarly, rhino horn poaching has pushed several rhino species to the brink of extinction. Their horns, believed to have medicinal properties, command astronomical prices on the black market, making these magnificent creatures prime targets for poachers. At the heart of these various forms of poaching are economic factors. Poaching is driven by a high demand and high profits, coupled with poverty and lack of alternatives in many source countries. It's a deadly equation where the value of an animal's parts far exceeds the value of its life. But it doesn't stop there. Poaching is tightly intertwined with organized crime. From smuggling routes to fraud, wildlife trafficking is a sophisticated operation that often mirrors other forms of transnational crime. In essence, understanding poaching isn't just about understanding the act of killing an animal. It's about seeing the bigger picture, the economic dynamics, the criminal networks, the global demand driving this trade, and the devastating impact it has on our natural world. The ripple effects of poaching stretch far beyond the death of an individual animal. It's a battle for survival, not just for the animals, but for entire ecosystems, and ultimately, for us all. The consequences of poaching are as diverse as they are devastating. When we think about poaching, the first thing that comes to mind is the tragic loss of animal life. However, the consequences run much deeper and wider than the loss of individual creatures. Poaching has a profound impact on the environment. It disrupts ecosystems, and it threatens the balance of biodiversity. Poaching can lead to the extinction of species. 
Every time a creature is killed for its ivory, horn, or hide, we lose another piece of our planet's rich tapestry of life. This isn't just a loss for nature, it's a loss for us. These species play a vital role in our ecosystems. By removing them, we are shaking the very foundations of these systems. For instance, elephants, often targeted for their ivory, are known as ecosystem engineers. They help to shape the environment in ways that benefit other species. When we lose elephants, we lose these benefits, and the ecosystems begin to change, often in destructive ways. But the consequences of poaching extend beyond the environment. It also has significant economic and social implications. Wildlife tourism is a major source of income for many countries. When species are driven to extinction by poaching, these countries lose a significant source of revenue. Moreover, local communities often suffer the most. Many people rely on their surrounding environment for sustenance, medicine, and livelihoods. When this environment is damaged by poaching, their way of life is threatened. Furthermore, poaching can fuel conflict and instability, as wildlife products are often sold on the black market to fund illegal activities. So, we see that poaching is not just an animal rights issue, but a human rights issue as well. It's a complex problem with far-reaching consequences, and it's a problem we cannot afford to ignore. The loss of a single species can destabilize ecosystems and the communities that rely on them. We must remember that every creature plays a part in the grand scheme of life on Earth. When one falls, it sends ripples through the fabric of our world. Despite the grim reality, there are glimmers of hope in the fight against poaching. In every corner of the world, brave individuals, innovative organizations, and state-of-the-art technologies are joining forces to combat this crisis. Let's start by acknowledging the tireless work of anti-poaching organizations. They're the front line in this battle, often risking their lives to protect our planet's precious wildlife. From the vast savannas of Africa to the dense jungles of Asia and South America, these dedicated teams are making a real difference. But it's not just about boots on the ground. Technology is playing an increasingly crucial role. Drones are being used to monitor vast areas of land, providing real-time data to spot potential poachers. Satellite imagery is helping to track animal movements and identify suspicious activities. Meanwhile, camera traps are capturing invaluable information about wildlife populations and their threats. Yet it's not all about high-tech solutions. Community-based conservation programs are proving to be a game-changer. By involving local communities in wildlife protection, these initiatives are not only safeguarding endangered species, but also providing livelihood opportunities and promoting sustainable development. After all, who better to protect the wildlife than those who share their homes with them? Law enforcement is another key pillar in this fight. Strengthening legal frameworks, improving enforcement capacities, and ensuring fair and deterrent penalties for wildlife crimes are vital. Without strong laws and their effective enforcement, poaching will continue to thrive. Innovation is also key. Whether it's developing new ways to track animals, creating alternative livelihoods for would-be poachers, or using artificial intelligence to predict poaching hotspots, innovation is at the heart of many successful anti-poaching efforts. The fight against poaching is a collective effort, requiring ingenuity, determination, and cooperation. Every one of us has a part to play in this battle. By supporting anti-poaching initiatives, staying informed about the issues, and spreading the word, we can all contribute to the protection of our planet's incredible wildlife. Every once in a while we hear stories that rekindle our hope for a better future. In the heart of Africa, there's a tale of the African elephant, once on the brink of extinction due to rampant ivory poaching, these gentle giants are now making a steady comeback. Thanks to dedicated anti-poaching campaigns, stricter regulations and relentless conservation efforts, the elephant population in certain parts of Africa has shown a promising increase. Moving across the globe to Asia, we find the story of the Indian rhino. In the early 20th century, Fewer than 200 Indian rhinos remained due to relentless hunting and habitat loss. But thanks to a concerted effort by conservationists and the government, these magnificent creatures now number in the thousands. Another success story brings us to the vast plains of North America, 
where the American bison, once nearly wiped out by hunters, now roam freely in their thousands. This comeback was made possible by a combination of protective legislation, breeding programs, and land restoration efforts. In the blue depths of our oceans, the humpback whale has also made a miraculous recovery. Once hunted to the brink for their blubber, meat, and whalebone, these majestic creatures are now a symbol of conservation triumph. Through international cooperation, hunting bans, and dedicated conservation efforts, humpback whale populations have rebounded in what scientists call one of the most remarkable conservation success stories. But perhaps the most heartening of all is the tale of the giant panda. Once a poster child for endangered species, the giant panda's status was downgraded from endangered to vulnerable in 2016. This was due to decades of tireless work by Chinese conservationists who created panda reserves and worked on breeding programs. These stories, though differing in location and species, share a common thread, a testament to the power of collective action, the resilience of nature, and the indomitable spirit of the wildlife we share our planet with. These stories are proof that change is possible when we work together. Though we have made progress, there are still many challenges that need to be addressed. The battle against poaching is a complex one, riddled with obstacles that are as diverse as the wildlife we strive to protect. One of the most significant challenges is corruption. In some regions, poaching is an institutionalized practice, fueled by those who are supposed to be its guardians. From park rangers accepting bribes to turn a blind eye, to government officials involved in illegal wildlife trade, corruption is a debilitating disease that undermines our anti-poaching efforts. Political instability also plays a critical role. In areas affected by civil unrest or war, wildlife protection often takes a back seat to human conflict. Not to mention, these unstable environments provide fertile ground for illegal activities to flourish, including poaching. The fight against poaching is not just about protecting animals, it's about restoring justice and order. To do this, we need a robust, transparent and accountable system that safeguards not only our wildlife, but our shared values as a global community. The road ahead is not easy, but it's not impossible either. It requires international cooperation and policy changes. We need to strengthen our laws, enforce stricter penalties for wildlife crimes, and ensure these laws are implemented consistently across the globe. But more than that, we need to address the root causes of poaching. This means confronting poverty, improving education, and providing alternative livelihoods for those who see no other option but to poach. While the challenges are immense, so too is our potential to bring about change. We have the knowledge, the technology, the passion. What we need now is the collective will to act. As we look to the future, we must remember that every choice we make, every action we take, has the power to shape the world our children will inherit. The future of our wildlife is not predetermined. It's in our hands. It's a future we can shape, a future we can change. And it starts with understanding, awareness, and the courage to take action. So let's step up, let's rise to the challenge for the sake of our wildlife and for the sake of our shared future. Scene script. Change begins with you and me. It starts with awareness and ends with action. Let's pause for a moment and ponder about this. We, as individuals, can contribute significantly to the fight against poaching. It may seem like a daunting task, but remember, every action, no matter how small, can create ripples of change. One of the most direct ways to make an impact is by supporting conservation organizations. These groups are on the front lines, protecting our planet's wildlife, and they need resources to continue their vital work. You can contribute by making a donation, participating in fundraising events, or even volunteering your time and skills. Remember, every bit counts. Spreading awareness is another powerful tool. Use your voice and your platforms. Share posts, articles, and documentaries about the poaching crisis on social media. Talk about it with your friends, family, colleagues. Start a dialogue, raise questions, provoke thought. You'd be surprised how many people are unaware of the severity of this issue, and your voice can bring it to their attention. But let's not stop there. There are ways to make a positive impact in our own communities as well. Advocate for stronger local laws against illegal wildlife trade. 
Support local businesses that are committed to sustainable practices. If you're a teacher, incorporate conservation into your curriculum. If you're a student, start a conservation club at your school. The possibilities are endless. Remember, the fight against poaching is not just about protecting animals, it's about preserving our planet's biodiversity, ensuring the health of our ecosystems, and securing a future where our children can marvel at the beauty of a rhino or an elephant in the wild, not just in the pages of a history book. So let's rise to the challenge. Let's educate ourselves, raise awareness and take action, because our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. The fate of our planet's wildlife depends on our actions today. In this journey, we have explored the dark world of poaching and the ray of hope that shines through collective action. We've seen the scale of the crisis, from the ruthless hunting of elephants for ivory to the illicit trade of marine life. We've understood the reasons behind these actions, driven by a complex web of economic, social and political factors. We've also looked at the devastating consequences of poaching, which not only threatens biodiversity, but also destabilizes ecosystems, local economies and communities. Yet, amidst the grim reality, we've witnessed stories of resilience, innovation and success. We've seen how technology, international cooperation and the tireless work of local communities are making a difference. But the fight is far from over. The urgency to address the poaching crisis has never been greater. Each one of us has a role to play in this global battle. Together, we can turn the tide and ensure a future where our favorite animals continue to thrive.